Hi, I'm Amir Clark, a journalist student, and I'm going to be interviewing our new Chancellor, Safraz Manzal. So follow me. Hi, Safraz. Hey, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Good to see you. You've just delivered a very enlightening talk in there. How was that for you? Was it enlightening? Yeah, it was actually. Well, if it was enlightening for you, then it was good for me. Yeah, and what excites you about becoming our new Chancellor? Um, well, I guess, just to be honest, it's just like quite nice to come from a town and then end up being in some way an ambassador for it at yeah. the uni. So that's quite cool. I think if it was a different uni, it wouldn't mean quite so much. But, you know, I literally grew up not that far from here. Yeah. So there's something quite nice about that. And what are you hoping to achieve in this role? It's like what people want, really, yeah. I guess. I mean, I'm hoping to be someone who can offer some advice if they want it, or maybe I can come in and talk to them and talk a bit about their, my journey and what lessons I've learned, something like that. So alongside your other roles, you're also an author. So what has motivated you to become a writer? I just wanted to have a life where I got a chance to meet interesting people, go to interesting places, hang out with some of my heroes, and have someone else pay for it all. It's been, it's been quite a nice life so far. Yeah, so shall we take a walk through yeah, the campus? Yeah, So you've made a film that's heavily um, reference the music of Bruce Springsteen. So yeah. aside from Bruce Springsteen, yeah. who is another celebrity that you really look up to? Taylor Swift, I think. Yeah. What's your favourite Taylor Swift song? Um, well, I'm sort of joking, but I'm not oh. actually also because my daughter's a big Taylor Swift fan. And so I quite like um, You're On Your Own Kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I quite really, I genuinely do really, really like it. But I don't really think of celebrities inspiring me or whatever. I mean, right. Springsteen did. Most of the other people I really like is just because in some ways they entertain me, but mm. Springsteen's in a different place, really. And what's your favourite Bruce Springsteen song? What's your favourite Bruce Springsteen song? I don't really listen to him, to be honest. Well, how can you Sorry have watched if that's my film and not you? ended up wanting to become I was jamming to out to it, I just didn't know the lyrics, though. Okay. Um, well, there's, well, there's a song called The Promise, okay. which I really like. Um, because he's got a line, yeah, it's basically he's got too many. It really depends on what mood I'm in, yeah. what's going on in my life. The thing about Bruce Springsteen is there's normally a Springsteen song that will help you at any moment in your life, depending mm. on how you're feeling. And is there anything you're working on right now that you can disclose? Yeah, I'm working on a new film script at the moment. Oh, wow. And I'm working on a new play that's going to hopefully open next year. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the two big things. And then, you know, I just recently just came back from New York to interview um, a rock star, which I'm writing a piece about there wow. as well. So this is our campus centre reception. It's quite cool. Um, what impact do you think our university can have on Luton? I mean, I think it's, you know, it's part of the town, isn't it? I guess it'd be quite nice to have you know, closer links between regular folk who, who aren't students, yeah. so, so they understand a little bit more about what the uni does, and so it feels like it's a conversation and a dialogue between them, rather than it feeling like they're two separate worlds. Yeah, what are some of your favourite places to hang out in Luton? Um, Greenfields is my favourite place, okay. because I was there when I was a kid, when I was like 15, 16, I used to go there, yeah. and I may well be going there straight after talking to you. <laughs> so I like places that remind me of the fact, you know, like of growing up here. Yeah. So I absolutely love that. I quite like the indoor market in the mall, because that again, yeah, that's that's cool. reminds me of a good time. And the library, I just, you know, the library was a huge place for me when I was growing up. And it's still, you know, I, when, I, when my book was launched, I did an event at the library. So that's quite a nice place for me as well. So you frequently revisit places that you used to when you were younger. That's really cool. What does that do for you? Do you know, this thing about towns, your hometown where you grew up, is there's only ever going to be one hometown. Yeah. So you're going to travel the world, but there's only one place which is your hometown. And so I just love that. The other thing I love about wandering around Luton is seeing people that I grew up with because you just never know who you might bump into. Exactly. Should we continue walking? Let's do it. So what advice would you give to some of my fellow students here at Beds? Well, I would say work hard. But don't work so hard that you forget to have fun because yeah. there's something amazing about being young and don't sort of throw that away. So I would say that. And then I would also say just aim for as high as you possibly can because it's only by having big dreams that you can make them come true. Exactly. Can you remember some of the best and worst things about university? I mean, I just love learning stuff and it not feeling like you had to earn money or worry about anything but you were just feeding your brain. I love going to gigs and I just love the social aspect. The worst thing, I was just always worried about what was going to happen next because I just didn't have any plan for that. So I think the worry about the future 
was something which worried me. But I think that's why it's good to enjoy it when you've still got it. Yeah. Well, we've arrived at our SU bar, what do you think? It looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. It looks very, very cool. It's got free Wi-Fi, has it? Yeah, the whole uni does have free yeah, Wi-Fi. Yeah, I can imagine just hanging out here and working and uh, working and sitting on one of these sofas. It looks cool. Yeah. If there was a book that you recommend someone has to read before they die, what book would it be? I mean, I'm probably being completely self-interested, but I would love them to read my memoir, um, just because it's about this town, it's about growing up, but hopefully it's got things which maybe connect with, um, you know, connect with them, but it kind of changed my life, so maybe it might help somebody else. Yeah, should we sit down? Yeah. Have a tea or coffee? Do you prefer tea or coffee? Um, I've had two lattes already, so I really have to have tea now. Okay, well, we're going to have some tea now, so I think you should go. Bye! <laughs>